There she is. Man, you think about it. I want one. Oh, oh. I give you the hit, bro. Well guys, we've got the new 2020 Duramax loaded up with the trailer, which as you guys know, has the 67 Camaro and the entire power plant out of it. Today we're taking it to Lake Charles, Louisiana to a friend of mine, and then after that we're taking the engine over to Houston, Texas. So it's gonna be a really exciting day. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. Whew. I guess, uh, I guess let's get on the road. It is super early in the morning, so uh, I am sorry if I sound a little bit out of it, but... <laughs> 9.30. Dude, shut the More reasons to love the 2020. Oh, we've got a long drive ahead of us today. Well, we're about to pull up. How did he see me from so far back? That's what I wanted. Like, how did he spy you? Oh, yeah, look at that perk on. Look at him flexing. Oh, Dom, boy. So handy. You can get right up on something. That's good. All right, guys. Well, we are at Dom's Paint Body. I guess we're going to get out and look at unloading the car. We're working with a small bit of space, though. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, this is actually where I'm from. And I've got a really good story on how I met Dom. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. He was actually whenever I totaled my first ever truck, which it's a long story, I can explain whenever we're in the truck driving to Houston, but yeah, was, he, he really helped me out a lot, so. What's going on, dude? What's up, man? How you doing, man? Good, bro. My thing is looking good, Jesus Christ. If you guys missed the video where uh, I took my twin turbo Shelby down here to Lake Charles and we all went and raced, you need to check it out. Seriously, crazy, crazy video. Be on spot right here. All right, cool. There she is. Man, think about it. I want one. You want one? Yeah, I want a convertible. You got the motor and trans load up. We're actually, when we leave here, I'm going straight from here, jumping on the interstate and going to Houston. Mm -hmm. I'm bringing this motor and trans to them. They're going to get started rebuilding it. So hopefully by the time you're done with this, we'll just get right. this picked up, get this picked up, bring it back to the shop, slide, slide it in, start it up, and it's good to go, ready to go. All right, get it out. All right, let's get it unstrapped. Make sure you don't hit that car. <laughs> I ain't got money to cover that. <laughs> Need you to take me for a ride in that thing to the bank real quick? Go grab you a check because I forgot to get one before That's we came cool. here. That's cool. Everything's all original. It's all still there. It's just yeah. old back here. You want to see that the brand new gas tank? I got all brand new emblems. I just want to keep these uh, the stock emblems if possible, the old ones. I'll just swap them out, put them in the box. Putting the original motor back in it? Yeah. Where did they keep the car? It was kept in a garage. Kept in a garage? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's what I was saying. It's really not bad. Like, it's, it's just got little minor surface rust, yeah, but yeah. sandblasted and powder coated, it's gone. Yeah, we're going to put it off the frame. But yeah, be careful uh, locking this door. This little lock gets jammed up sometimes. And then that mirror is that back mirror. It's hard to roll up sometimes, but that's about it, really. The big place where these normally rust is like mm -hmm. all down in here. Everything's yeah. so perfect. And yeah, normally you got to change these. And then that back one too. These dudes know what they're talking about. Yeah, so tell me what like exactly is gonna be done so, so that much, I don't miscommunicate. First first thing first, we're gonna disassemble the whole car and then we're going to get the car itself blasted and then we're going to do all the body work. Make sure every panel, every gap perfect. So that way once we final prime it, um, we won't have to go back and fool with nothing until it's ready to paint. And then we're gonna take the car off the frame we're going to put it either on a lift or a rotisserie i haven't made my mind up yet it just depends on how bad the bottom is once mm -hmm. we start taking it apart and then we're going to take the frame which is it's just going to be yeah, really little yeah the little thing little little member right here get all this blasted we're going to get all this inner shield blasted and get all that powder coated so, oh yeah oh yeah it's, it's going to be like a brand new 67 camaro man that's my goal you know, i'm telling you if you watch that video whenever i got it this mm -hmm. this has been like no kidding like a dream of mine oh, since yeah. i was kid i've always seen my dad have this car and whatever and through like our struggles and his struggles and yeah. everything it never had to, it never got to do anything really. yeah, I'm, I'm it's, it's like a real big it. deal to me that's why i'm happy to be able yeah, to take it to I'm you honored to do it man like i said this you know this is my dream car that car out there you can go buy it all day but yeah. this thing right here like so i'm gonna i'm gonna treat hey, that's real like though mine. that's real i appreciate yeah, it that, yeah but, uh, like I said, it's gonna be a project though, but we got a good canvas to start with. Luckily, yeah. I mean, this hood is in awesome shape. Normally they all dented right here for people swimming. You know? mm -hmm. All the trim looks good on it, everything. Yeah, I seen that. I think what happened was, I think it was hit from the back. Yeah, I think it was hit from the back and they changed two quarters and they painted this roof. Actually, a great job. 
Yeah, he did a good job. It probably got done in like 72. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of crazy to think about it. This thing is nearly 53 years old. I know. And it looks like that. I know. Under the trunk liner, that was the biggest thing. This thing, it's going gonna, it's gonna to tear apart. And that's why I was telling you, you remember on the phone whenever I was mm. like, you know what it knows what it looks like? Because this is the first time it's yeah. ever been taken off right here. Like, see, there's rust in there. But. Yeah. We're going to blast that coat. We're it. starting the restoration right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're ripping it, we're we're ripping it down. I guess we'll see how it looks after it gets blasted. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I just don't like this right here. Yeah. I don't know what that's going to do. And that's just, all that is just some moisture. Yeah. It, I don't think it got wet. It's just yeah, uh, I was about to say the seals right here are bad. Mm -hmm. So every time they would get washed or whatever, yeah. it was going underneath that mat and nobody knew about it. Yeah, we're going to get a seal okay. kit for it. It went around the windows. Yeah, windows. We're going to get it for the windows. Oh, so it is getting a whole seal kit and everything? Yeah, we're going to put a yeah. seal kit. Okay, cool. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? Looks like everybody. It's not big blood. That's metal, huh? Yeah, that's metal. You seen the last time they had an inspection sticker on? 1994. Wow. And this one is the only, pretty much one of the only ones that you can find that's completely fully optioned out for the time. So like, watch this. None of them have this. Except for these. It's like a little place to put your groceries when you go. They got seat belts. A lot of them come with seat belts. Yeah. They actually got a headliner in it. Yeah. And it looks good too. That's the crazy Yeah. Headliner looks good still. I'm digging the seats without a headrest. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, uh -huh. <laughs> I like that a lot. I mean, a lot of people would have bought this car and just drove. Yep. I'd like, have been happy with it like this. Yeah, I just want to see it like I've always seen it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> I want to see that in real yeah, life. Yeah. All right, let me get the key one. All right. Well, we got the car dropped off. Uh, I've got to go around to the bank real quick because I do owe him a pretty hefty check, <laughs> but I didn't go get it from the bank yet. So we're going to go ride in his Lamborghini there. That sounds so bougie, but... Uh, yeah, he should have got the SUV so he had more seats in it. Oh, you trying to come? <laughs> but yeah, this is his very, very new uh, Lamborghini Huracan, fully loaded out with like everything you can imagine. And then on top of that, it's actually got a twin turbo kit on there as well. So like, Please it's can, just... Boy. Look at this oh, damn, boy! Oh my god. Back in the saddle. I don't think I've ever been treated like such luxury dropping off a car to a body shop before. I know, huh? You get to take a Lamborghini to go get the check? No, man. Hey. I'll take care of my customer. <laughs> Twin turbo Lamborghini at that. You said you only had this place open for seven years. No, I've been here 10 years. Oh, 10 years? Yeah. What'd you do before this? Um, I worked at another shop in town. I was just now thinking about it. Mm -hmm. okay, I mean, I've known you for probably four years now, but I didn't know what you did before this. Yeah, I was. Uh, I worked at a shop here in town for about... You were doing paint yourself or what? Yep, and then I had a shop in my house, and that's how I built my clientele. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. I had no idea. And then I said, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and open my own shop. Looks like it's working out pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> it's been good, man. You're gonna work hard whether you work for somebody or for yourself, so you might as well work for yourself. I like that. But anyways, back to what I was saying a minute ago. I was saying me and him have known each other for a good bit, but pretty much how I met him, I spent every bit of the money that I had at the time on a truck. And I kid you not, stayed up all night detailing the truck because I was so excited to have it. it was, I mean, it wasn't anything crazy. I spent like $6,000 on the truck or something. Stayed up all night, went to go eat with my girlfriend the next morning at Olive Garden and was super tired staying up all night. So we drove and I fell asleep driving and I actually totaled the truck. So I brought it to him because I didn't know anybody else that pretty much I was getting like quotes in a few different places in town or whatever. I bring my truck to him and I was like, hey, I need this truck fixed. Can you help me out here? I can't do anything with it. I didn't have no money at the time because I just moved out of my house. I was young. I was probably 16 at the time. I don't even know if you really remember this or yeah, not, but I whenever I brought it to him, uh, I was like, I ain't got no money. He's like, shit, I'll cover it. You pay me over time or whatever. Pay me over a few weeks. Anyways, not, not even a joke. That was like the biggest awakening, I guess, for me to figure out how to hustle because he gave me that opportunity and I was forced into figuring out how to pay that much money back that I did not even have. So I had to figure out how to get that money back. So yeah, I learned a lot from that, but I appreciate it, seriously. Oh, yeah, bro. That's why now that we're here, I'm back trying to do some more stuff with you. Hopefully. You know, bro, you always gotta help somebody, bro. Yep. At the end of the day, I don't care how high you are on the mountaintop, you're always gonna need help. Never fail. Now, here we are, five years later, riding a Lambo. <laughs> and, you yeah. went, and you went and bought a, <laughs> you went and bought a project. Man, we about to do. Just yeah, I'm just glad to see both of us doing well. Five years ago, I probably wouldn't have saw either of us yeah. in the place that we're at, so I'm happy to see it. Five years ago, I wouldn't have, wouldn't have had no YouTube channel, I'll tell you that much. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. By the way, guys, uh, we've been I've been really pushing him to get his YouTube channel up and started and everything. So if you want to help me out, go check out his YouTube channel. Hit subscribe, go check out his videos, all that good stuff. You'll see plenty of the car that we're in right now. Uh, he's got a very, very nasty C6 Corvette. Really, really disgusting car. <laughs> but, uh... God, I forget how fast this car is. This thing is nuts, dude. 
to get on the interstate. Oh, he's actually coming. Oh, yeah. What's up, dude? That's a pretty bad man with jail. Thank you, bro. You want, you want to make a hit? What's that do? Twin turbo. I'm out. <laughs> he's like, I'm out. <laughs> I'll give you the hit, bro. That little blower sounds pretty good on there. Yeah, it sounds good. Get him on a good street, though. He said, What's done to it? Twin turbo? Ah, uh, count me out. <laughs> How come it's always so much fun coming around here with you? <laughs> I need to move back over here. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Holy hell. <laughs> we were reeling him in fast. What's all done to it? Intake. Intake. That thing rolls, bro. That thing rolls. Track off. It should. Yeah. That was sick. God, dude. I can't imagine what it would be like. I said this last time I was in this car. I cannot imagine what it would be like every day to be able to go somewhere and drive this thing. <laughs> I feel like there ain't no, there's no way you can't be happy just driving around and something like this. I gotta this. put some tires on it, bro. I'll yeah. do it. I mean, so, now this is with me and you in it. So imagine what it do me by myself. Yeah, I know. I mean, it, it try to switch lanes. Like, it's, I like believe you gotta it. keep it straight. This car is awesome, though. I can't yeah, believe it. I'm so happy you chose like this exact setup oh, whenever yeah, you did. I love it, man. You had a, What's the channel? It's just a six. It's just six? It's just a six. Okay, let me cut the front. I found out who he is. Look how he wants. He'd be a good street street racing camera. No kidding. I'm telling you, they better hope I don't get to the level to be able to get something like this. <laughs> they better hope. <laughs> I don't blame you though. What body kit's on here again? It's the Vorsteiner. Vorsteiner, yeah. That front bumper is 16 grand. Oh, I don't, don't want to. I already banged it up. Like it's banged up at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, you're right back. Okay. You ever get chauffeured to the uh, the bank in a Lamborghini? Damn, dude, he's scaring me. <laughs> Holy shit. You want me to get your receipt for this one? He was backing up all confident, like he didn't even care. Getting up close to the truck, I was like, oh, you're crazy, but not here. He was like, no, I was looking at the glass. I was like, Whoa. oh, what is that? Oh, so, y'all found, oh, yeah, why not? So y'all found his little secret. Well, I didn't know this was a built motor with some uh, juice spraying yeah. Okay. yeah. Hey, Daniel, play the clip of this uh, this truck pulling out of the shop. That video's crazy. Uh -huh. All four wheels. Wow. That was only on a hundred shot. Oh, oh you, Lord. Yeah, they say, you know what this ain't for. <laughs> yeah, bro. I can't wait to yank this motor out. Get my baby back rolling, bro. We're about to get out of here. We got to go to Houston. I already know, we bro. We got to drive lie. back home tonight. So I, gotta, I got an appointment at 9 in the morning. So. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Keep me updated on the car, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is episode two of the restoration. We dropped off the car to the paint and body place. Got everything ready to go. He's going to be taking care of it. He's going to be posting a lot of the restoration footage to his channel. He's having like a little series that he's going to be doing. Unfortunately, I would love to be doing this stuff myself and I'd love to be videoing it, but he's three hours away and we're not set up. I don't have a paint and body guy. I can't do paint and body myself and, and I'm also, definitely not like, going to risk trying on a car like that, if that makes any sense. Plus with a car like this, you need like a severe amount of trust no kidding, in yeah. a person to handle this car. Right. Above all, like I explained in the Lamborghini whenever we were going, me and Dom been really close for a long time uh, through a lot of stuff so he really really has helped me out a lot and I really want to help him out with his YouTube channel so this is kind of like me giving back to him because a long time ago even though it wasn't that major to him at the time it was like huge to me that's why it means a lot to me to be able to take it over here to him and to be able to help him grow his channel and everything so like I said guys if you don't mind please go over to his channel hit subscribe check out his videos and get ready for this series of this complete restoration of this 1967 Camaro Rally Sport and as for now guys that's all for today's video and I will see you next time